Hey guys, welcome to another session of Epic 7. This video is gonna be about me evaluating one of my friend's account, uh, Hippie. So if you guys have watched uh, any of my YouTube videos in chronology, I did a birthday summon, viewer summon for him. Uh, right after, for his birthday again, I did uh, kind of like an account help. Uh, helped him uh, build a Wyvern 13, a consistent team for that. And then later on he asked, hey, 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 actually, I forgot to ask like if you could check my my gear and see which one is actually you know potentially good for for 90 um so what you're about to watch is a uh, part of a vod that is uh, from the live stream portion of it so i'm talking to the guys on the stream and stuff like that so you know don't be confused who i'm talking to um but uh basically i take a look at what hippie has and uh what i would kind of rate them to be now like a lot of the stuff potentially potentially a lot of the stuff that i talk about may be subjective to the player i would say that this would be more geared towards newer players especially free to play and newer players that may not know exactly like what kind of gear they should invest in now of course at any time like if you guys come to stream and i'm not really doing much you can ask me hey jagan what do you think about this gear like should i reforge it or whatnot i'll give you my opinions there are there are really good information out there like on reddit and stuff like that on how to calculate your substat score um definitely research into that just research like epic 7 gear substat score or uh substat rating or something like that um you'll find documentation on it very very interesting uh, a lot of that kind of stuff i kind of it spills through as you guys will watch the video but it won't be like so like succinct so i would definitely recommend you guys read up on that if you want to know how to calculate whether a piece of gear is worth 90 or not and also what kind of tier it ends up being like is it like grade like an s tier is it an a is it a b stuff like that might be useful especially that uh if you're especially if you're free to play it is very hard to get 90 gear it's very expensive in terms of time and then energy spent on it so anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully this is helpful they would have to be all plus 15 so we don't need to take a look at what you have in terms of stash we'll just take a look at what you already have plus 15. Do you want me to give you a no and a yes? Or do you want me to kind of just point out the yes? This is okay. This passes, but marginal will pass. Just point out the yes. So this is decent. It's a nine crit rate. No, no, that's after though. Mm. Relatively low. It's on a hit set too, so you probably don't want to do that one. Speed gear, I always have a different view on it. If it is an improvement and you need the speed, then I would say yes. But uh, otherwise, I would say no. The same for this one. Otherwise, they, they have conflicting stats. This one is just only for the speed. You're getting nothing out of that one. So no, no. This one... Potentially a yes, but not for ML Cecilia. DACA double agent. After this, I'm ending Twitch. Yes, I, I will be. Yes, correct. This one... Also no. 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 If you have a hero that needs a ton of crit damage and you're running like a crit chance neck, potentially yes, but not high priority. This one is actually decent. Crit rate. This one's actually okay. Oh, this one is super odd. Um, I wouldn't do this one just because if you do it, you will force to use it. And I wouldn't recommend you ever use this until you build a effect resistance DPS. Or yeah, effect resistance DPS. Not worth. Low roll. Not worth. Oh, conflicting stats. I wouldn't have rolled this one to the max.
who's an ER DPS? Well, anyone could technically be ER DPS. It would throw off someone, but like usually bruisers, um, like slower bruisers. Yeah, ML can fire Ravi, A Ravi. Um, honestly, if you're big brain enough, if they have a long survivability, high effect resistance works for them. Not on like a thief where you could get one shot because there's no nothing you should be resisting anyway. Yeah, conflicting. Conf you have a, yeah, you have a lot of conflicting stat gear. So I would I would definitely like at this point now that you can hunt thirteens. Yeah, I wouldn't do this one either. Yeah. At this point, you're hunting these gears. Um, you you should only start rolling ones that would have actual use. So you you should no longer be chasing three usable substat and one really off sub, unless it is an upgrade again, like I said, uh, or unless it's pure speed gear, or unless you have someone in mind that could use that specific one. Uh, this one. Okay, oh, again, man. Oh, this is salty. This is salty. Yeah, the effect resistance totally wasted rolls on this one so when i was talking about the gear score for those who were on the stream it was this it's this in the calculation see this in the subset score this count counts very high but for spez himself this counts very low he's only getting a like a 30 maybe even a 40 grade gear that's after i-90 so very very low score Um, it's a it's a ninetyable one. I wouldn't though for SSP. This one's this one's okay. This one's okay to ninety. Only if you're missing gear like this. The health is a bit low roll. No, no, no to this one. Yeah, no to that one. I I'm also giving you like really strict stuff. Like there's a lot of this, the grades that you have here. I actually rolled. Minus the conflicting stat pieces. I don't roll those ones at all. I just farm or craft a new one. But in terms of some of like the medium ones where I'm just like, no, no, no. But they had alignment in terms of substat. I actually, I'm a hypocrite that I roll those ones sometimes, but it's only to chase a certain build. So I'm not looking at the specific hero that's using the gear. I'm just looking at the gear itself. So just giving you that context. This one's actually good. You got 17 speed out of this. I would 90 this. Uh, 17 speed is not easy to get. That means you got uh, four speed roll, but very low, which is pretty salty to be honest. Four speed roll, right? Yeah, four. Four, four, four rolls into speed, but they're all really low. But 17 is good. So I would do it. So this one I would say high priority and then that maybe this one in terms of like usability and grade but this one overall probably better 22 resistance 11 speed you got health uh, this one is a it's a lowish but if you are missing the it, it makes it to that yes you can do it but I think you could get better no definitely no that in fact the sermia armor should be tossed i it should be tossed you should just remove it i don't see anyone that could use it it's low roll all around except the flat hp but even that is pretty low sermia super budget yeah use that as a extraction in the future if you get a replacement or use it as food Okay, it gets new gear. Okay, so you have a lot of next ruled. This is really interesting. It's very high, like decently high score, but I would not do it. Not a high priority. Potentially, if you wanted to get some kind of, I have no idea actually, who, who would use this? Attack. I don't know, maybe maybe some kind of big brain swappable neck on the champion Zerato. But it's no, you wouldn't really. 21 crit chance. This one? Heck yes. This is high priority. I would do this one. 21 crit chance, 10 speed, flat health, percent health, 
hundred percent. I would do this even right now. I would say this is out of everything. This one and your speed chest is the biggest one. These two are probably the best one so far. Uh, no, not to that one. This one is decent. This one is decent. This is a uh, average about a twenty. Over 20, over 20 attack, over 20% attack. 11 crit chance, it's decent, but it's not like, it's not as good as this. Alexa one, do it. Um, not a high priority, unless you're chasing that effectiveness. Uh, I would say no. Uh, potentially a Rengar SSB, but I still prefer crit damage tanky Rengar SSB still. Why do we have to be sub to watch your VODs? Um, you can catch me on YouTube. If you want to watch the VOD specifically, the reason why it's gated behind sub wall is mainly because in the past, um, I didn't want some snakes to look at my guild war, um, but uh, I just never changed it. And uh, I think it's just, I kept it because it's uh, it just gives more value to my current subs, so I've never changed it. Attack, wow, you have a lot of attack. Next, what's your, what's your carrot on? Oh, it's on 19, it has 16 effect with flat attack. I see. I would almost prefer like something like this on her, to be honest. It's got defense, it's got health, it's got effect resistance, but yeah, whatever. Um, but either way, I wouldn't do it because it has 15 effect resistance. No problem, uh, Nash. 22 crit rate. Wow, you have a really good crit... So this one also good. You got flat defense, which is really good on like let's say thief. You got a percent attack in there, and uh, you got a, you got a HP percent, which again good for thieves. Uh, I would do this one not exactly for Vildred, but one one day twenty two crit rate is not easy to get. Ten speed twelve? Mm. No, unless you just wanted those little increments. Let's take a look at rings. Uh, no, it's a low. This is a low, low gear. Crit damage. Crit. Da okay, let me think about this. For uh, this could be a potential filler. The gear score here is low the gear score here is low but potential filler if you wanted to make a bruiser and just complete like a crit chance or maybe some crit damage um in terms of the subs is good it's just salty that you roll a lot of flat you forgot your ox outside gear 13 speed on this one i would say no to this one conflicting stats 21 effect resistance flat 31 effect resistance out there oh uh, this is potentially usable it won't be on your best built heroes though it's got speed it's got effectiveness it's got effect resistance it's got a, it's got a splash of everything it's usable not high priority 90 but it can be 90. this one i would say no Toss it. Yeah, it has absolutely no subsets going forward in terms of a, an attack ring. You're missing too much crit chance or crit damage potential. Speed is 15. Uh, usable. Um, in terms of, I, I'm looking at all your speed gear right now, and this is a speed set. 15 looks like an improvement. Um, 
so this is actually okay until you could get something better but honestly 15 speed on a defense it can be useful for like a uh, a C Armin in the future if you want to go for like a fast C Armin or even an Alina. Um, those 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 heroes usually only need a one turn, maybe two turns max for the fight to be over. And speed benefits from so, so this one is a high priority ish. Nine speed, you got flat. This one's odd. No. So C Armin depends on how you use her. Usually she is an Aureus holder. If you use it as a light bait, higher defense. If you use it as an Aureus holder, more HP. Um, but regardless, this is usable. It is usable. Not the best rolls, obviously. Everything is really low there, except the speed. And even the speed, you didn't get high roll. But uh, usable. This is... Co you, you, you should extract this one or feed it as fodder. That's completely garbage. The 1000 like flat health honestly is very tempting, but you, again on an attack based ring You need at least a crit chance or crit damage in there to make up the stats because It was a mistake. I see. Okay All right No No This one's odd. I mean, you have it on ML Rin right now. It can work on her. She's a thief. Flat defense is beneficial. Flat health and percent health with some speed and its effectiveness. I would say you can do this one. Very, very low rating though. Like re really low priority. This one I wouldn't do. Um, your Alexa is good enough. And I think this could only be good on Alexa. Never any top tier PvP hero. It was the love of her faster, got it. But honestly, I mean, this could this could work for an ML run. It just won't be a top ML run. So gear score, what's the standard score? Mid end game player, 80%. So goodies, the score, if you want to I-90 something, a top tier level one would be 70 substat total score. So that's speed is times two, crit rate times 1.5. If you want the simplest form, everything else as it is. The flat stats need to be rated against the hero you plan to put it on. So if it's a 100%, oh sorry, if it's 100 flat attack, you have to see that as a 10% to someone with 1,000 uh, base attack, like that. You have to calculate that. That so total total score if it's 70 after uh, I90, that's a top tier. If it's 60 plus, like 60s. And then higher than 60 it's still really good like really really good and your averages you're gonna get about get a, like a 55 to 58 um, anything lower than that I wouldn't recommend 90 this is this one's actually keepable because you have 32 percent health um, this can be usable so if it's a bruiser that needs the health from somewhere, you can substitute the crit chance, crit damage on other pieces, and you can use this one. So that one's actually usable. Just not on Vildred. Alencia... Alencia, you probably... Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, you could go with an attack Alencia. It's not uh, not a bad idea. If you were going for full cleave, full cleave Alencia. Uh, definitely not the blues. We don't need to take a look at that. Blues are not worth it at all. Doesn't matter what subs are in it. Blues just never add up. So you just never 90 blue. I'm not talking to hippie specific. I'm talking about the uh, to, to everyone. If there's new players. Crew damage is 15. Health is 17. 23 effectiveness. Flat attack. Uh, this one's high rating. This one's actually okay. You could commit to it. Maybe on like a Melissa or something. Something that needs high effectiveness. Speed set ML Robbie. Oh, you're talking about the health one. Uh, the attack ring. Yeah, BD. Yeah, yeah, that one's good. That one's good. That would be good. This has crit damage, crit chance, and defense. Uh, This one... This one is rollable as well. Um, I would I would do it. Speed boots, uh, speed boots, speed speed set speed boots. 
their substats need to be very high in order to earn a lot back in terms of your hero being on a speed boot. Uh, because you're going to miss out on a lot of main stat. Azure, hey man, welcome to stream. Speedy Charles for those boots. Yep, yep. I, I, this could be usable on uh, quite a bit of bruisery speedy heroes. This is a hit set. Hits at speed with 28 attack, 10 crit chance. Uh, usable, but you're going up an uphill stream for to chase the crit rate. You need a uh, you would want a crit chance set, and and really on your double sets, end game is all immunity. So realistically, maybe a PVE gear, which then I wouldn't 90 either. This is no. This is uh, very good, actually. Um, very good, especially on debuffer heroes. Um, I would do this one in terms of 19%. Uh, so this would be good for any any ranger, any ranger uh, debuffer. So for example, uh, Faithless Lytica, Fire Lytica. Yeah, it's good for ML Aramitha too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's just that it's just that she's a mage, right? So her health is lower. But on Rangers, that 19% health you can gain from that is going to be really high. But it does have flat health, so it's not bad. It's actually a really good one. This is actually a really good heroic. 31 health, 9 crit rage, 8 defense. Medium. You wouldn't toss this one. Medium quality. Don't know about 90 gear. You could probably go without it. This is a do definitely no. Oh, definitely. Oh, this one's. Oh, this one's salty. 24 up to 24 effect resistance. I would say definitely no. I don't know. That's yeah. It's missing too many stats. Okay, everything else is dead. Okay, that's pretty much it then. Ho hopefully, Hippie, you made a... Yeah, that's a filler boot, yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, Hippie, you made some notes there. Um, oh. Okay. Alright, that's it for that portion. And uh, hopefully, again, I... Hopefully that this was helpful for some people and you get kind of a, a slight grasp or the philosophy behind uh, whether or not you should be regearing. Now, I'm no expert or I don't claim to be one. But you know, I've been playing enough, and and I and I learned from like the best guys. So I, I'm pretty sure like the information that I talked about was is is ninety percent trustworthy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully that was useful. I'm gonna end this with the video recording. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.